Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the node contains method in JavaScript. So essentially, the contains method allows you to check whether or not a node is contained within another node. So let's see how this thing actually works. Inside the body here, I'm going to make a new unordered list element and give this an ID of my list. Okay. Inside here, we're going to put two list items, list item number one and item number two. So now we're going to use the contains method to discover whether or not this list item two is part of the my list unordered list element. So in the browser, we currently have this refresh and we get that right there. So now inside the JavaScript, we can begin by getting a reference to both the unordered list element and also the second list item. So down here, let's make a new constant and call this one my list equal to document dot get element by ID and pass in my list right there. Do the same thing for the list item number two. So const list item number two equal to this time my list dot query selector and passing in li nth child two and that will select the second child that is a list item that one right there inside the my list so now if i was to console.log both the uh, my list and also the list item number two we should see that in the console i'll save this refresh the browser and we get that and that right there, perfect. Okay, so now let's check if this is part of this, okay? Let's make a new constant down here and call this one result. And this will be the return value of the contains method. So result is equal to my list, okay? So the list, uh, the list element dot contains and then list item two. So we're calling the contains method on the parent list element on the actual list item. So now if I was to then console.log and say results plus results, we should see true or false in the console. If I save this and then refresh the browser, what do we get? We get result is true. So this list item is part of the unordered list parent element, okay? This thing actually works with also any child element in the subtree, which means that if I was to add a strong element inside here, so let's just add some more text inside a strong tag, give an ID of my strong. Inside here, we'll put some bold text, okay? Saving this gives us this right here, refresh, and we get that. So now, let's check if this strong tag is part of the entire unordered list element right there. Let's make a new constant and call this one my strong equal to um, list item two dot query selector passing in strong that will select the first strong tag that is a child of list item number two. And that should be that one right there. So now we're going to say result is equal to my list. So the parent dot contains my strong. So strong isn't a direct child. It's a, um, a child of a child of that. So if I save this and then refresh the browser, we get true right there. Okay. So it works with a, um, you know, the entire subtree itself. Now let's say, um, I was to pass in this title h2 element inside this result. Okay, let's see what happens now. Let's make a new constant and call this one um, title equal to document dot get element by ID title. That should give us that one right there. Let's check if this title is part of the unordered list, which it shouldn't be, right? Let's pass in title. So my list dot contains title. I was to save this one and refresh the browser, this time around, we get false. This h2 tag is not part of this unordered list element, okay? 
Now, technically speaking, because of this fact right here with the strong and being a child of a child, if I was to actually say document dot contains title, document is a type of node. So this means that technically in HTML, anything they say document dot contains is always going to return true in most cases as far, um, as far as I'm aware. So if I was to save this one, refresh the browser, we get true right there. So as far as I know, if you say document dot contains, you're always going to get true because document is like the main root element, right? Okay, notice how you can use the uh, nodes.contains method in the JavaScript document object model. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.